We are six days away from the new month of April and today I wanted to come out with a little predictions video and uh, let's get to the roster as usual so we're just going to be on this screen and before I get to the roster we're just going to do a little quick recap I'm going to do my own predictions video for what I think is going to come out next so what's going to be next for this game and I think April could be the golden month for this game maybe for uh, the month we could be waiting for, we're all waiting for, for not only just new characters, but another brand new feature that everyone's been waiting for, uh, for crossplay. Crossplay, I feel like, is going to come out in April, and it's late Q1. We originally had the date of quarter one, or the, during the first quarter of 2022. April is considered late quarter, or the first quarter, late Q1 of 2022. And let's just bring out everything that we have right here so far in this from previous we got garfield three dlc characters we got shredder with the double dare stage which was slime time it was all free everything's been free alternate costumes that came out over time and um one thing i noticed just like i mentioned before every character had a feature they had a brand new feature that came out so why not a character potentially first paid dlc of course coming out with crossplay i think that'll be a giant update a lot of people will be playing this game more people would even probably consider buying and making the purchase so here we are in march just with a few days left and we have the new feature cpu versus cpu where you can have the computer battle it out you can do a little prediction yourself to see who, who might come out on top to be able to win the match you can do avatar showdowns Mike, Michelangelo versus Leonardo for who's the better turtle because they're the only two team Ninja Turtles in this game for currently I'm sure there probably could be more but there'll be too many Ninja Turtle characters in this game uh, It's time for other characters to come out and be able to get a spotlight to get some kind of rep We need more Nicktoons that have not been represented in this game and this is just a recap But this, this is what I was saying from before I was predicting I, I originally was predicting that just guessing like look at the picture why is Gary featured on this picture and if, if you get what I'm talking about and if you follow me watch this but Garfield is, right, is the representation or the, the rep representative for December's update and then January's update but Shredder came out in February so this is the February update basically or I guess it was supposed to be the January update January and February update at that <laughs> just looking at this but Shredder is the character that's featured now See, could this hint at Gary? I made a video about this before, and I made my own moveset for him, if you guys want to check it out for character ideas, if he was ever getting this game. But could this hint at a potential SpongeBob character? Even if it's not Gary, maybe the first paid DLC could be a brand new SpongeBob character. And if it is a SpongeBob character, let's head to the roster real quick. Let's go to training. We're not gonna start a match man. If it is a SpongeBob character, we got three characters. You got the tr the trio, the iconic duo or tr uh, trio, if you want to call it. You got SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy. Could that SpongeBob character be Mr. Krabs or Squidward? Even if it's not Gary, it could be somebody that's already been part of uh, rumored to be a part of this game and confirmed to be a part of this game in the files. Could it be Plankton, Mr. Krabs, or Squidward? to be the fourth character to be represented in this game. What do you guys think? And that's why I'm making this video to get some discussion and talk about this game because is, there's not many people playing this game right now. There's not many people who play it often and there's so many great games. Oh, I like playing this even with other, all the other PlayStation 5 and Switch games to play in the mix up. It's just super fun just streaming the game and um, playing with different characters, character requests and more and having fun with you guys. But Maybe is that a sign as a potential hint at a Spongebob character being part of the next addition to this game? Could it be Mr. Krabs? Could it be Squidward? Could it be Plankton? Because those are the three Spongebob characters that have been confirmed for this game. And I'm curious to see if you what, what you guys think. So, but if it's not a Spongebob character, I would love it to be, I, I would honestly like it to be someone else f for a rep. Let's get someone else from another show represented in this game. We don't have enough characters and we don't we have so many missing shows 
where's the other characters for these uh, original Nicktoons? These original shows that people grow up watching. We got just like that. We got four Ninja Turtles characters. Shredder being the fourth edition, but not many villains. Can he be a villain from a show? Can it be a villain from a, a show that's already repped in, represented to add to the roster for variety? But we want that crossplay because there's not enough people playing the game online. And I just want to get to the, I just want to get to the online. So you just watch. So once you just get in and get on here, I'm playing on PlayStation 5. There's not enough. Whoa. Network error. Please check your connection and try again. Never got this before. Bad I'm showing this now. And I'm playing this. It's, it's Saturday today. Ready. It's checking this out. No one just need to show this on at the servers now. Could that be something? Could that be a little signal? And I'm perfectly, I'm already online. I'm, it's not even on my connection. I'm online, I got online right away. Could that be something? I'm glad that kind of popped up a little bit. Could that be a hint? Could that be a little sign? Who knows? But when you try to come online, it takes so long to find people, and then if you do find a player or two, you play a couple of matches, they're gonna get off. They're gonna be ready to go to the next opponent. They don't wanna play, keep playing the same, playing against the same player over and over and over again. And at least, at least, at least into my next, I just my, my next prediction, maybe it's gonna be more potential costumes. They might even bring that out. Even if it's not a character, they might add more costumes that they worked on that could be paid DLC, even if it's not a character. And it could be more costumes and crossplay, but crossplay should be the main thing that could be the next next focus because in my honest opinion you can add as many characters you want to it can be Timmy Turner whoever it is but if you take the character online you're not going to really be able to play it and play with your friends with that could take a character take them into the arcade play a couple matches online and then you just you're back at playing local play and offline because you can't really find people to play with and you can't play with your other friends that have different platforms that you connected with, you're not gonna be able to play with them because they don't have the same platform as you. It's not easy getting the PlayStation 5. I got this game on the PlayStation 5. So, and then on top of that, PlayStation in general, PS5 players cannot play with PS4 users. So it's not, it's, it doesn't have that cross-gen support. Not just, not cross-play, it's different. Cross-gen support is a different term. Cross-gen support, meaning that you could play with people that are still a part of that PlayStation or that platform. So Xbox Series X, for example, wouldn't probably be able to play with people that's on the Xbox One. Because that's a next-gen console. So it runs differently, they have different features. I'm just surprised that wasn't even part of the game from the get-go. To have cross-gen support for PlayStation players being able to play with each other. But Nintendo Switch players, that's where the main player base is. Because it's like Super Smash Bros from these rosters and these care these co these costumes are free so they could bring so much more and just instead of just one outfit to represent each character you have so many different options you have all the different options and characters you got one red look you got one person from the invader zim series they can expand two from ren and stiffy one from danny fano hey arnold arnold could be in this game they can get Tommy Pickles or Angelica. I think Angelica is a better fit. It's just it's so much to really discuss and be able to share different opinions about this game. But maybe I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna throw this as a little bold prediction. If it's not a SpongeBob character from that little picture feature with Gary, if that doesn't hit as a new SpongeBob character for the next pay 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 character for a paid DLC, which I think could be the first, the new character is gonna probably cost cost us i'm not sure how much it could be i would like to see just at least maybe five six dollars five to seven dollars at max for a character pack because you're going to get a stage you're going to get their costume and then the character itself and for all in one package i think that's fair for a fair price just to discuss that anything higher than that i think that would be a little too much for one character unless it contains a little bit more outside the character itself but an individual character should be like five dollars and if you want the skin you want the alternate costume or alternate skin or two if, if if it has more than one they can just they can up the price a little bit but i think five to seven dollars i think that's a good little 
five nine well four ninety nine at max six ninety nine we'll see see how much they charge for these characters but we don't have any other details over in regards to how much these characters will be how much would you guys pay for a character for a DLC how much is too much I wanted to really ask that question today for this um, particular video <clears throat> but for my bold prediction if it's not just as if if it's not a SpongeBob character for to add on because I can already see them right next to being right after Sandy in between in between Sandy and Aang if it's not a SpongeBob character I'm gonna just say Jimmy Neutron because it might go in this order it could be for me just according to the characters that were revealed for this game could be Jimmy Neutron coming up next he could be next Jimmy Neutron, Plankton, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, Plasmids, Tommy Pickles, Zuko, and Rocco. One of them. Could be one of them. But as I said before, I would rather have someone that's not in the game yet. That's a, a show that's not represented in the game yet as a nice little surprise. Why not add why not add a character that's not in the game yet to go alongside of the brand new feature of Crossplay? Because there's not much really going on in the game anyway. You're just stuck playing the local play when you can't really find anyone online so it's just so much fun to play and just mess around with these characters every character is great i like the character designs the graphics on ps5 looks amazing just even in spongebob's picture see how the, the just the, the colors and even when you start playing it's just every stage is great let's pick some random characters you see this is one of my favorites one of my favorite shows and then it has he has one of my favorite ultimate costumes in the game and then next, I think he also has one of the best, best skins. And then we also pick Danny Phantom. So we're not going to start a match, of course. Danny Phantom. See, they got some of my two favorite skins. Our awesome consoles that's free. You can get in the game. Select your stage. So once you get this game, you're just going to, you're going to have everything unlocked. You're not going to really have to unlock the characters or the costumes. But I just wanted to bring up the stages because they can add another stage. If it's not a character, they can just expand the stages to go a new playable stage or so to come out with it. Come out with the crossplay feature. So I'm going as far as saying it. It's got to come out to in April. It's coming out in April. If it's not a new character for SpongeBob, it's got to be somebody that's. It's got to be a different rep. I would more than likely like to have someone else. Let's get some more people. Uh, represented from the shows that we watched and all that we love and I never even really expected the show to see this playing this game slime time ah it's slime time this is the double dare stage this is the newest stage that came out with Shredder this is not a Shredder stage it's not even from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe but they can see how they expand this is just a game show they came out with a game show stage with a Ninja Turtles character they can come out with another stage from another show to be represented in this game with another character. But those are just some ideas. Other stages are great. You got three SpongeBob characters you got three, with the three the three stages to be represented. You got two. You got almost. Let's count them. We got 20, 22 characters. Let's see. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 22 characters, 22 stages. So we're gonna probably get a 23rd, 23rd character for April, and then the 23rd stage. But who knows who and what that would be? I'm curious to see what you guys think. This is so much stuff that the game can have to expand. I do like the new CPU. Let's go to those. Let's go here. I like the new changes that they did. So he doesn't even have to do that little slime splat and load up. You can just go right back to the change the rules. See, it's just quick like that. I like how they did those different changes. And you can play against them. Show them down. You just want to watch a showdown for the CPU and battle it out. You can do a, a showdown. As I said, you can just... Leonardo. You can have, you make up your own little scenarios. That's what I like. Showdowns. Leonardo running in. Leonardo being all the turtles are down. It's just, just it's, it's fun just doing stuff like this. All the turtles, uh, the Ninja Turtles. The only hope for the Ninja Turtles is Leonardo and one on one to battle, to battle Shredder. See who comes out on top. And have him on level nine. You change the rules up. You can do teams. You can team up with an ally. 
with another antagonist like Zim that's in the game, the only other antagonist or other villain that's in the game from the roster. You know what I'm saying? So you can do things like that and have fun. So I like the changes. I love the changes that they they done and made for the game. And it's only going to get better if they can get those these these certain features that are missing in this game and all those different characters. So we we just have to see and find out. I just hope maybe we'll get something in the maybe something we'll probably get teased this week. Maybe with a new character teaser with a reveal being potentially during the first week of April. Because the weekend, next weekend, is April 1st. I think next Friday is April 1st. And then the second, Saturday and that Sunday is the third. You might be able to get some some, some huge news for this game. Hopefully a character and crossplay to be represented. But let me know what y'all think for my predictions. Could Jimmy Neutron be next? I'll, be, you know, so I'll pick him. Maybe Jimmy Neutron. And then maybe it could be Jimmy Neutron, Rocco, or maybe a brand new Spongebob character from that. Just based on... The picture updates and the picture features is a pattern. It became a pattern. It's like you got two different characters as represented. Why is why is he right here? Could he be a fighter? Or unless that hints as a SpongeBob character. Who knows?